Hello, this is Bill Friedkin, the director of To Live and Die in L.A., and I'm going to do this commentary now about the film without referencing the film itself. I'm just going to give you my impressions, thoughts, and feelings about what went into the making of it, why we made it, what I saw in the material, a little background on the cast, and uh, about some of the things that we were trying to do. To Live and Die in L.A. started out as the impressions of a former Secret Service agent uh, on the job that he had done with the Secret Service for about 19 years. And he put his impressions in the form of a novel called To Live and Die in L.A., which I read. A lot of uh, the time I'll get recommended by someone, a friend or even a stranger, who tells me you ought to read this book. It looks to be right up your alley. And often it isn't. But in this case it was. What attracted me to this story was the surrealist nature of the life of a Secret Service agent, of a guy who would be protecting the President of the United States one day and uh, in an informal relationship would often be uh, playing cards with the President in his suite with other Secret Service agents. They used to play poker for money with President Reagan. And then the next day, he would be chasing some counterfeiter in a very poor uh, neighborhood of Los Angeles uh, for stolen credit cards or uh, bad checks. So that struck me as being a very surrealist situation, and it's what attracted me to the story.